Magic Man. What's up, Sushi Squad? We are back in some more Pro Doodle. And today we are on the test server. That's right, the public test server or the PTS is available right now on PC. If you guys want to end up getting access to it, well, you easily can because if you're on PC, uh, just when you end up launching Glyph, uh, you'll end up selecting, you know, how you can select North American and European. Well, PTS is going to be one of the options. Now, keep in mind, if you want to end up keeping any of your uh, file stuff from your normal live server, you're going to type slash export account all as one word and then that is going to end up taking like five ten minutes to export all of your saved data onto the test server so you can try stuff out now while we do actually have a very very nice patch notes with uh some really good quality of life stuff today we're going to be focusing on the boom boom boomeranger rework specifically okay so we'll we'll have other videos that'll end up going into more detail of all of the changes going on uh you know with this update we don't have a release date or anything but if i had to guess i'd say that this update will more than likely hit october at least on pc i don't know about you guys on console probably november december or even next year for all we know Granted, it's a pretty small update, all things considered. Now, you got to also consider that as we end up deep diving into what's going on with the Boomer, uh, you do got to keep in mind that we are on the test server and all of this information is subject to change. So I will, of course, end up having like a finale update video when this ends up going actually live on PC. But potentially, if there is big enough changes from one version of the Boomer to another version, then I might cover it. But if we're talking like slight damage number increases, then I just don't really see the point. Anyways, let's uh, go through the description here that they have as their little write up uh, before we end up talking about all the changes of the ability. So when thinking about the boomerang or a core identifying feature of this class is choosing what weapon to use so when considering how to update the class we wanted to make this choice matter more now the boomerang gains different versions of the boomerang and big bomb abilities depending on whether or not you are using a sword or a bow each has a slightly different play style and we'd encourage players to experiment with them additionally a version of the subclass ability has been added to the main class a fairy companion will now help the player when at low health. Uh, the, intent, uh, the intent here was to increase incentive for playing uh, at closer ranges. <laughs> <laughs> okay um <laughs> finally new effects have been added to the mastery urn uh, and we're interested to see players reactions so uh, basically the subclass of the boomeranger i'm pretty confident has always been uh this little fey ally that would be around you and it heals you when you get to low health it does have an internal cooldown the difference i think is that they threw that little fairy guy onto the boomeranger permanently so now we always have it so even more zelda reference in fact i want to see on the generic normal costume yep it's a fairy all the more reason i mean so the whole thing about the boomer is it was basically supposed to be like the the fan version of a nintendo character because it's got all the link references which is why i made a mod pack back in the day that ended up turning the boomerangers costumes into link and so on and so forth uh but then there was also just the mario jump and so on and so forth right so anyways let's talk about the new abilities themselves so we've got the passive ability and all the main abilities and stuff and this is going to be a bit of a lengthier video because again we have two different variants of the abilities uh, i will put timestamps so that you guys can see real world examples of us trying out the different abilities but generally speaking this is going to be the video focusing on the information if you want to see me playing boomer and testing it in u11 and so on and so forth uh we'll have a short video talking about that soon but generally speaking my live stream from the other day already covers it so anyways the passive ability final fairy so boomeranger can equip either a bow or a melee weapon Basic attacks and abilities change based on what weapon the boomeranger has equipped. With the bow equipped, basic attacks will fire arrows, so it'll end up shooting a fire arrow, an ice arrow, and a bomb arrow in that specific order. Fire arrows deal damage over time, ice slows enemies, and bomb arrows deal damage in an area. With melee, however, every third attack summons a cyclone at your location, which deals damage over time uh, for a short duration. Additionally, a fairy companion will heal and grant 100% damage reduction for a short time when the boomeranger is at low health. So 
I, I don't know whether or not it's going to end up being all that good. I mean, uh, the joke is that they keep on trying to bolster like some sort of a healing method in this game. Uh, but generally speaking, most enemies are just going to end up one-shotting you anyways. I mean, I guess not now that we've got crystal gems and so on and so forth. But either way, uh, there's going to be the third attack of the melee is leaving down these little tornadoes on the ground that you can see right here. Maybe I should swap to the normal costume just so that you guys kind of have a much better understanding of it. You can see it's very, very subtle VFX. I wish other costumes would end up actually doing stuff like that. Is this training dummy working? No, it's not, because there's no way that we're doing 92 mil per attack. Training dummies break after a while and don't have the proper represented damage numbers. Uh, but yeah, so our base attack right now is doing maybe three mil each. And then when we end up having the little cyclone thing, that's going to be doing about one to two mil each. Uh, you know, when I'm in U11, obviously fighting Sundered Uplands enemies, everything else we just absolutely melt uh and then there is going to end up being the ranged attack so it's going to be a little difficult for me to show you guys this but you can see uh first the fire arrow it's got slight fire v effects and then leaves the damage over time which does not do that much damage training dummies are broken uh let me get the torch out of the way actually and then the second arrow well, let's just keep shooting all three of them so that you guys can kind of see it. Unfortunately, the explosive V effects are going to kind of dominate. So, yeah, uh, the third shot does still seem to shoot three arrows at a time, which is interesting. But uh, what's funny is they didn't seem to change the hidden ring effects uh, of of uh, of the boomeranger. So I'm wondering whether or not. Uh, the chicken uh, arrows are still going to end up being the most overpowered. Another thing too that I'm noticing is as we end up using all of these effects, we seem to have some sort of a VFX buildup on our character. So I don't know whether or not that's some sort of a passive buff that we've got going on, but we'll see that in a minute. Uh, so anyways, basic, basic attack with a bow. So the boomeranger fires arrows at the target, dealing 240% physical damage each attack. Arrows have uh, a relevant, or, or sorry, arrows now have a related element and fire in sequence. So first the fire arrows will apply a damage over time effect, ice arrows and bomb arrows. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so they don't seem to go into detail about what the damage percentage is of the damage over time effect or if the bombs end up having extra damage or anything, but okay, whatever. Then there's the base attack of the melee. So the boomerang will deal 270% physical damage with each swing. Uh, if I could leave any feedback to the developers, I would say that they need to have the damage be a lot higher on the range because otherwise I'm getting complete deja vu to the Vanguardian where the ranged mode is absolutely useless because the devs are under the impression that when you're ranged, you should be at a disadvantage, but they don't seem to realize is that you're already at a disadvantage because when you are ranged, you are single target. It's very, very difficult to have you destroy a group of enemies with a ranged attack, which is kind of where a lot of the area of effect abilities try to compensate with that. But my point is that I would like to see the ranged attack be a little bit stronger. However, maybe with the hidden ring effect, it would end up being absolutely devastating and too powerful. But anyways, let's move on. Uh, so you'll deal 270% uh, physical damage with each swing and the third swing of the boomeranger will perform a spin attack that summons the cyclone which deals 100% physical damage every 0.5 seconds for 1.5 seconds. So it can tag an enemy three times, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, and then we've got the primary ability, which is the big bomb. So this is going to end up being the primary ability when we have the bow specifically. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's kind of weird that they have the boomerang labeled as the secondary ability, which... Huh. Anyways, so with the bow, it's still the so normal bomb. Oh, the training dummy exploded because these are bombs. Right. Let me uh, zone restrict nobody. <laughs> uh, it'll throw a time bomb that deals 750% uh, physical damage and causes knockback to enemies damaged by it. Remove the knockback devs, please, for the love of God. Uh, so then there's only, there's also going to end up being the bomb when you're in melee mode, which is quite different. So this is going to end up uh, throwing out small timed bombs that explode, dealing 250% damage to targets. Uh, the ability can also stack up to five bombs at a time, which means uh, 250 times five, we are dealing 1,250% damage in total 
versus again the ranged one which is just going to be a flat 750 uh but this is what it's going to end up looking like so we got the little one right here and then it does spawn a little baby all the more reason why melee mode seems to be a lot stronger than ranged because if you'll notice we can have a stack of five of these so we can actually throw down five of these bad boys and then here's a little trick for you guys swap to the bow throw down this bomb because it's on a separate cooldown bang mega chongo damage like look look at this are you looking at this <laughs> do you see how powerful this can be based on using these little babies like obviously it's going to be more burst damage but that's going to be pretty dang helpful for certain bosses the other thing i want to end up seeing too is will chromatic actually end up affecting the abilities oh sorry i gotta consume a flask here so can i end up yes we can so that's gonna be the boss killer way of doing it unfortunately you can see it takes a ton of pots in order to get our bombs fully maxed out because each of our individual bombs has a 20 second cooldown uh so does the big one yeah uh but don't worry there is a way that we can end up reducing the cooldown of our abilities and so on and so forth but we'll get into that momentarily so there's actually two different boomerangs now. So the secondary ability are called boomerangs with a ton of explanation marks for the bow. Throw three boomerangs that deal 450% physical damage and return after hitting an enemy or wall. Every third basic attack recharges this ability and if caught, the player will gain increased attack speed and damage for a short time. So here's the interesting thing. It says that it increases your damage. It doesn't. So you'll notice that my damage is at 533. And if we end up right clicking, we're still at 533. So the interesting thing is that we actually get attack speed and movement speed as our buffs. So I feel like they either made a huge error in the description or it's supposed to be giving us damage and not, uh, you know, the movement speed. I don't know, but I like the fact that it gives us the movement speed. However, that buff just doesn't last nearly long enough for my liking. So anyways, uh, the boom, the boomerang also has a chance to stun. So then there's going to end up being the alternate, which is the melee boomerang. So the, the key is that with the bow boomerang, you can actually throw down uh, three of them. Was that three or four? Four of them, sorry. Uh, and it's going to throw out three boomerangs each time, which do actually have their own hitboxes. So you can basically shotgun enemies in the face, which is hilarious. And also really lots, uh, heaps and heaps of damage. Uh, however, as the melee version, this is gonna be boomerang of the wind. So it throws a large boomerang that deals 550% physical damage to enemies it passes through. If caught, the player will gain increased attack speed and damage for a short time. Again, the exact same effect where we don't get a damage increase, we get a movement speed increase and the boomerang has a chance to stun. So that's a difference of, um, the four small ones that do 450% damage and then the uh, the the big boomerang doing 550% so again you can end up you know swapping between melee and ranged over and over again but frankly speaking the cooldown on this is not that bad so long as you end up catching the boomerang which uh, we'll talk about that in a moment because the description of some of these abilities has actually changed once so uh, again we'll get into it oh actually i guess we should mention the classroom ability just very briefly just because i don't know if these damage numbers are different so um with the bow in mind the bach bomb classroom ability is going to deal 800 percent physical damage and cause uh knockback to enemies damaged by it. remove the knockback please spawns chickens that attack enemies for a brief duration still doesn't say how much damage they actually do the chickens each but okay whatever uh, and then the melee version bombs are going to deal 300 physical damage to their targets and it also spawns chickens for a brief duration uh, and you can end up having five of them at a time so the other thing too is they don't necessarily have a description for the ultimate ability uh, however they did end up adding a bunch of different uh, uh, abilities to this so that's still going to end up being just our tip bombs uh, I'll try and see if I can get the other abilities to end up happening um, we are triggering two effects at the same time by the way you're not crazy it's because I'm using that hidden ring effect just because this could potentially end up being really really good because you can end up spawning more chickens and so on and so forth uh, and there's also going to end up being that uh, sorry I didn't catch that on camera too too well that's going to be the boss killer ability where it basically has a giant urn slowly way too slowly in my opinion come down that ends up doing devastating damage you can also get this idiot to show up sometimes uh and he'll end up attacking our enemies uh, again the training dummy is broke oh my god it's that idiot it's the guy from the event 
the guy that we wanted to vote on dude oh my god okay i appreciate that so much more i'm so glad what was his name chuck or something i don't know but that's so good that he's in there you can also get a giga chicken which uh beautiful look at this thing go like my god dude um and then there's also going to end up being i think there's one more ability if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the one. So this triggers everything at once and makes you a big boy. And I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I really don't know why. But it does end up increasing your damage. No, we actually had less damage. Odd. Maybe it's broken. So you can see right here, I'm doing 42 mil per melee attack, right? And then oddly enough, uh, the training dummy's broken. Keep that in mind. We come out and now we're doing 70 mil. So clearly that's not doing the damage that it should be doing all right so briefly just before we end up going and giving you guys a very brief example of fighting some enemies and stuff in u11 i wanted to talk about the second variant of uh, you know the second patch that we ended up getting or the first patch so we had version one and that's what i was reading this is version two changes so they made it so that every third attack with a uh, bow for the boomeranger now reduces all ability cooldown. Uh, I think it does that for the melee as well. No, it doesn't, oddly enough. So that's how they're trying to make bow stronger or something? I don't know. Um, because that was one of the big cool things about Boomer was that his base attack would end up reducing cooldowns, but now they seem to have just done that with the bow itself, which is interesting, but okay. Bow based attacks for the boomerang are now function better with attack speed. I don't know what that means, but okay, whatever. Boomerang of the wind now reduces all ability cooldowns. Uh, that's going to end up being, I think that's this one, right? Yeah. They also updated the boomeranger. So the second and third hits for melee should more consistently land, uh, updated the description for guild halls in the trove hub. I don't know what that is. And then restored some different styles for candy barb, whatever. So anyways, you can see that when we end up getting the boomerang of the wind, it ends up and it ends up reducing our cooldowns quite a bit. So that's very, very nice. Uh, we'll do an example of Geode Surface. You can see some uh, sneak peek of some of the quality of life things. We got like new quest icons and junk like that. Uh, we're just going to end up fighting some enemies very briefly. Now you're going to notice immediately that one of the big problems with Boomeranger is that it's still not very good for speed farming. Uh, that's something that I really hope that they can end up rectifying because when we end up using our Boomerang, it actually, as I mentioned, will give us a pretty significant movement speed buff. Uh, so we're at 179 and then whoops, I'm not using trailblazing. Uh, well, if we ended up having our little ally trigger and, uh, you know, pyro disc and stuff like that, there, there is some high potential for some falutin tootin speed, right? Uh, but first and foremost, I'm just showing you guys the example of how do we handle ourselves in U11 geode surface? Well, I'll tell you, we actually are just fine. So our movement speed now is uh, 169. Okay, so it, yeah, it's very random. Um, the buff from the boomerang does not last nearly as long as I would like it to for my liking. But you can see our base attack is not bad for just dealing with uh, common mobs and stuff. But we can use our urn at any time because generally speaking, if we end up throwing our boomerang... Uh, a whole bunch of times we'll end up getting our uh, cooldowns back. And then even if we end up throwing down all of our little bombs, uh, these guys are going to end up just devastating enemies. However, another big, big oversight that I think that the devs need to end up rectifying is that the little baby chickens are basically coded as a friendly mob. So if they see an enemy, they'll go for it. Problem is they don't follow me around. So I can throw one down, have it blast over there, and it's not going to appear by me to fight this boss, which I really feel like they should change that. I feel very strongly about that because otherwise, you know, you're going to end up throwing your bombs down at random locations and it's just not going to end up being that great. Uh, on top of that, you can see because we're so reliant on using all of our abilities for damage, it might not be the most appealing class for everybody because as of right now, just with vanilla farming, you know, not really looking too deep into it, we're not really doing super devastating amounts of damage, which you can do if you end up fighting bosses and stuff like that that are a little bit stronger. Uh, but the problem, most of all, is that we don't have the movement speed and our clear time for dungeons is not that great either. And so that's where I kind of feel that the boomer is still lacking a little bit in that regard. You know, if we end up having everything go off, obviously, you know, we are 
just going to absolutely decimate dungeons for sure. But you got to understand that my main argument when I talk about like whether a class is going to be more functional end game or not is uh, combat uptime. So there's characters like the Tomb Raider or the Draco that have insane amounts of damage, but you have to build up to it. And Boomeranger is kind of leaning towards that play style where you're so reliant on having your urn drop a good ability and using your Bok Bomb and so on and so forth that it kind of like takes away from just being able to go in the dungeon, kill everything and move on. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just a personal play style of mine that I just enjoy more, which is why I'm always playing on the Shadow Hunter since it's rework. That said, though, I think that this is a great step in the right direction. What do you guys think? Do you like the new Boomer? Do you think it's lame? I don't know. Personally, I think it's really, really cool, but it does need some tweaking. Uh, the only thing that I would see is the biggest problem is I need to have the movement speed buff stay on me a lot longer because you can see it goes away very very quickly i'm fine with the attack speed bonus not being there for the entirety of the time but the movement speed is going to end up being something that we need to be able to keep for a much longer period of time now the argument is that at least in ranged mode you could be using your boomerang constantly to get that movement speed buff which sure i guess but I don't really want to have to constantly remember to shoot my boomerang over and over again just to end up getting that sort of a buff, you know? All right, let's just do it in Sundered Uplands just because why not? So we're going to use up all of our bombs, then we're going to swap to range, and then we're going to throw down another big bomb and just watch the magic happen. Yes, eat my children, eat. <laughs> this might actually be the most viable thing that you can end up doing on the boomer right now. Thanks for watching gamers. Smash like sub for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel and have a wonderful day, everybody.